Hi guys, this is Rich with Wild Wonderful Weekends again, and I'm back with another short video on the DJI Pocket 2 camera. And today I started playing around with the time lapse features. Uh, it has three time lapse modes. It's got motion lapse, hyper lapse, and the uh, I guess simplest version of that is time lapse. And that's what I recorded with today. I'm going to make a separate video for each one because there's kind of, I don't know, there's more details you can go over. There's more planning involved if you want to get a really good time lapse shot. So that's the way I'm going to handle those. Um, again, it's really easy to set up for that though, and I experimented uh, today I set up a tent and the settings that I used to put up the tent were not the settings that I used to take down the tent because I wanted to kind of experiment a little bit and see which looked best for that kind of motion. Of course, uh, when you shoot time lapse, you got to kind of consider your subject and, and give a lot of thought about how rapidly the, the state changes and how frequently you want to release the shutter to catch to catch that uh, detail. My dog's rolling all over my camera tripod right now. Okay. So I'll show you the settings that I use, and I'll show you the video clips that I caught, and hopefully it'll give you guys some good information. To get to the time-lapse mode, all you do is swipe again from right to left. And you see I already have it set up in the time-lapse mode, but it's the same vertical scroll that we used in the last video where we select slow motion, and where you can select photo and video in the other modes. So once you select time-lapse here, you technically could go ahead and start recording, and it's going to go by whatever its default settings are. Now, I knew that I was going to be walking around and putting up a tent, so I thought that I would Google what might be decent settings for those, and they steered me to about opening the shutter about every two seconds. So once you have time lapse, you can go here and you can select what kind of shutter interval you want and the duration of the final video that you want. And then it's going to calculate how many frames that's going to take. And once you've selected that, you can just touch OK, and now you can start recording. And uh, whatever you're pointing at, that's that's the frame that it's going to keep to the duration of the recording. Okay, so I thought that video moved a little too fast. So when I came in to record me taking the tent down, I went into my settings, time lapse, and I actually changed it to 0.5 seconds. And still 20 minute duration to give myself plenty enough time to take it down. So that's it. I uh, appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you do like these videos or find them useful, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to do another video on the uh, a video for each of the other time lapse modes. And uh, like I said, again, it's just something around the house, putting up a tent, taking a tent down. But hopefully, it provided some useful information if uh, you're thinking about trying the time lapse uh, photography features on this camera. Thanks for watching.